Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Kim Fisher. I'm an entrepreneurial and empowerment coach. I wanna teach you today how to do a visualization practice. Visualization is key for reprogramming your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind is your autopilot behavior. So some of the times we're doing things on autopilot, not consciously thinking about it, and it's not necessarily great behavior. Ruminating is an example, judging other people, getting distracted, little things we do all the time unconsciously that protects us in a sense from being our best, most boldest self. What we get to do is reprogram new scripts, if you will, that are called paradigms into the subconscious mind. I just point to the back of the head. The subconscious mind isn't located in the back of the head, but it just feels like it's there. We're gonna reprogram new scripts into the subconscious mind so that when autopilot kicks in, which is roughly about 90% of the time you're walking around throughout the day, you will actually have autopilot behavior that is healthy for you and aligned with what you want to achieve in life. The really cool thing about visualization practice Practices is that it instantly works with the subconscious mind because subconscious mind doesn't really have thoughts or words. The subconscious mind uses archetypes. So image is the language, if you will, of the subconscious mind. So if you consciously conjure up images of your future desired state, we are speaking the language automatically of the subconscious mind. Remember too that your mind, your brain, does not know the difference between what is happening right now in reality in your 3D world versus what you're imagining. It all uses the same circuitry. The brain treats your imagination as if it was really happening right now. This is another one of those evolutionary wirings of the brain that we can leverage because if we can imagine something incredible, something that we really desire, and we just imagine that we've already achieved it, we're living the life of after the fact and feeling all the positivity of that, experiencing the pride, the accomplishment, the achievement, and understanding and seeing the effects that that has placed into the world, that ripple effect of positivity, we can start to feel that now. Because again, the brain believes it's actually happening now. Why is that important? When it comes to manifesting and it comes to empowerment and achieving what you want in life, when you believe something that you desire has already happened and you've rewired the subconscious mind to believe it's true, it's already happened, you then identify as that person who has done that thing. It's no longer something you're chasing after, hoping, wishing, praying that one day you're going to get that thing, get that money, get that car, get that job, that perfect life, that million dollars in the bank account, that book deal, start that podcast. You're no longer waiting for those things to happen. You've identified as someone who's already done it. You've shifted into that person. Now, why is that important? Let's keep going. Because if you've identified as that person, you're going to act like them now. That's where manifesting comes in because guys, we're not attracting anything when we manifest. We're actually projecting when we manifest, we're projecting what we want with the images of our mind onto the mirror of reality and the mirror of reality, the world around you that you see when you open up your eyeballs, it's only job is to reflect back. It's a mirror. It reflects back what you ask what you show it. This is why it's so important that you watch videos like this, that you educate yourself, that you learn how to do a visualization practice properly so that you can continuously show the mirror of reality. This is what I want. Don't give me anything else. I want this. And life will eventually reflect back to you what you desire. But the cool thing is, is you don't have to wait. There's going to be a little bit of a gap between when you start to visualize clearly every single day, multiple times a day, what you desire. And it shows up in your 3D world. There's a little bit of a physical gap there, about six to eight weeks or so researchers tell us, but we don't wait. We act as if it's already occurred. It's already shown up. It's already happening right now in our reality. That's because we flip the switch on our identity. We're no longer someone that's waiting for it to happen, hoping, wishing, praying. We are someone who believes it's actually already happened. Duh. So I'm going to act. I'm going to behave. I'm going to choose things that align to the fact that it's already happened because it's already happened. It occurred to me that what I take for granted, you might not know. 
which is how to actually do a visualization practice. So I'm gonna guide you through one of my many scripts that I have that I teach inside of my programs. If you join me, there's links below to explore and see what calls to you. I'd love to have you step in through the doors of something and have fun with me and creating your reality through your imagination, I think is the coolest thing, the coolest cognitive power we have. So let's use it. By the way, like anything, the more you use it, the easier it becomes. So don't get discouraged. If, it if at first it's hard to visualize, it does take practice. The other little thing I'm going to say about this before we start is this is the secret ingredient. You have to have 100% enduring faith that what you're about to visualize is possible. Even if it seems absolutely crazy, bonkers, ridiculous, and impossible. Don't worry about it seeming possible just now, I want you to give yourself permission to just dream big and let your mind be a mind. Let your brain be creative and do the things that it naturally does, which is give you sometimes absolutely crazy images that seem scary or sometimes even like embarrassing. You're like, I can't believe I just dreamed of a helicopter with my face and name on the side and picking up clients and bringing them to my chalet because that's where we're going to be doing our mastermind which is one of my dreams, by the way. So that at first, when I first had that helicopter vision, I was embarrassed. I was like, that's so egoic of me. And then I was like, is it? What if I had all that money? What if it was no big deal for me to buy a helicopter or rent one and throw my logo on the side and go pick up my clients who paid lots of money to come hang out with me in a chalet in, I don't know, somewhere in Colorado. That actually sounds like something I would do. It just maybe doesn't seem possible right now. And it's certainly not. That doesn't mean I stop myself from visualizing it, okay? So make sure you have your helicopter visions ready to go. And when they pop up, don't discredit them. Don't be embarrassed. Let it roll, baby. Okay, so let's get started. You're just gonna need to find yourself in a seated position or you can lie down flat. And at this point, if you don't have earbuds in, I recommend that you pause and get them, put them in for the best experience. Relax your body, close your eyes, starting at the crown of your head, working your way down across the face, your neck, shoulders, and looking for areas of tension. And when you find those areas of tension, ask them to soften. And keep working your way down through the body, through the arms, your torso, your belly. Take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top for a couple heartbeats and exhale out the mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Further softening into this moment. Beautiful. Keep moving your way down with your awareness, using your mind to feel different areas of the body noticing if you feel tension and inviting those areas to relax. Moving down into the legs, if you haven't yet already, kneecaps behind the kneecaps, softening all the way down to the toes. And let's do one more pass, starting at the crown of the head, deep breath in, Hold at the top for a couple of heartbeats and exhale at the mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Letting your awareness trickle down over your body. Like hot oil was being poured over the crown of the head, spilling awareness over the body. This warm, beautiful, soothing oil of awareness. Looking for areas of tension that might be hiding areas that you don't normally pay attention to, like between the shoulder blades, the bridge of your nose, between each finger, the webbing between each finger. Can you soften those areas? And relaxing into the here and now. Keep working your way down. Great job. And start to notice how the breath has slowed. And if it hasn't yet, let's help it to deepen. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Slowly pulling in the breath. Slowly releasing the breath. Perfect. 
slow breathing and body awareness scans help us to move out of that fight or flight and into the rest and digest or that parasympathetic nervous system. When we relax, we get ourselves out of that analytical mind that's a little bit too fixated on our reality and we soften into the doorway of the subconscious mind. Now that the body is relaxed, settle in a little more to your seat. If you're upright seated, elongate the spine on your next inhalation, shoulders relax. If you're lying down, see if you can open up the back body and relax into what you're lying down upon. Imagine if your back body had a zipper on it like you were unzipping a hoodie or a sleeping bag. Can you unzip, in a way, the back of your body and feel the energy pour out into the bed or couch or whatever you are lying on beneath you? Now we're ready to visualize. Keep your breath slow and steady. And remember at any point, you can always pause Open the eyes. If you feel the visualization has gone too deep, you are always sovereign. You are always safe and in control. With your eyes closed, visualize yourself in a barren landscape. Maybe there are a few rocks around and trees, but there's not a lot going on. Just notice where your mind has placed you. And imagining that you could spin around 360, take a look at the landscape all around you. What do you notice? What do you see? Don't judge any of it. Take a look up. What's the weather like? Is it daytime, morning, evening, dusk? Is it windy? Is it calm? What's the temperature like and humidity across your skin? Make all of these details real. Gaze down at the earth beneath you. What do you notice? about the foundation that you're standing on? What do you notice about the ground? And take a look at your feet. What are you wearing on your feet in this imaginary landscape? Or perhaps you are barefoot. What are you wearing right now in this imaginary space? This barren, unique, landscape. What are you wearing? Notice the colors of the clothing. Are you wearing any jewelry or embellishments? How is your hair styled? What other details do you notice about you and this environment? Let your mind dream of anything it desires here, knowing that you're never wrong. Breathe, relax your body. And now you notice something flickering off in the distance over your left shoulder and you turn to see what it is. And you're curious, so you start to walk. Visualize yourself walking toward this shiny, flickering object. Keep walking. And as you get closer, you notice that it's a golden treasure chest on the ground. Not a lot around in the landscape, so this is a very curious object. Why is it there? Walk over to this treasure chest 
and notice before we open it, how does the outside look to you? Notice details. Is it made of wood, metal, gold? Is it antique, ancient, or new? What other details do you notice? And you get down on the knees and we get ready to open this box because we know and we can tell intuitively there is a message for us inside. And so when you're ready, you lean over, hands on the top of this box, of this chest, and you open up the treasure chest and gaze inside. What object or objects do you see inside immediately? And you notice and can feel that these objects have a message for you. Reach in and grab the object out of the box, holding it in your left hand. And imagine right now, and you might even gesture currently with your body, lifting the left hand up, imagining you're holding that exact object, how you would hold it in reality. Use your hand in that shape now. Imagine the weight. Make it real. Feel the weight. Feel the detail. Is there a scent to it? Is there a texture to it? The more detail, the better. This object has a message for you. With a deep breath in and out, ask it, what message do you have for me? And listen. This object represents the moon, the left side of the body, the feminine energy, our energy of receiving and holding space. What do you notice about that message? We place the object back into the chest and it dissolves into the ground, releasing itself and energy back into the ether and environment from which it came from. And you stand back up and gaze up at the sky and you notice that there is some large bird circling overhead and you're curious about it. What bird could it be? And as you focus on this bird, it gets closer and closer, circling down in a slow, beautiful spiral toward the earth, toward where you are. You feel no fear at all. You know that this bird is a messenger and here for you to learn from, and it lands with a thud on the earth. Walk over to this beautiful bird, and as you do, notice colors, details of this magnificent creature. Walk right up to it and place your hands on the magnificent bird's wings. Feel the feathers. That's it. Good job. Feel the feathers. Make eye contact. Notice what else and behaviors the bird does. The bird is here to signify a message for you in your life. Ask the bird, what message do you have for me now? And listen to its response. We thank the bird for its message. Before it leaves, it has an object for you and it places it in your right hand. What is that object? The first thing you see is often the most intuitive answer. Hold the object in your right hand as if you were holding it right now in your 3D world. Feel the weight, feel the texture, feel the temperature. What other details do you notice? 
This object is in the right hand and represents masculine energies, the solar energy, the actionable energy, showing up in the world and taking action. How does that signify? How does that match with the message that the bird gave you? Finishing up your reflection and thanking the bird. The bird flaps its wings hard and takes flight as it runs across the ground and flies back into the air, circling upward and upward and upward toward the sun. You sit down on the earth, sit down in your environment, filled with gratitude, filled with inspiration and wisdom and you feel such gratitude for this visualization at this moment thank your subconscious mind for showing you these beautiful archetypes and image thank yourself hand on your own heart at this point thank yourself for going through this journey and for your own intuitive wisdom showing you what is possible. Allowing your eyes to softly open just a sliver to let some light in. Deep breath in, let it out with a sigh. <sighs> Allow your eyes to open more. Welcome back. At this point, I encourage you to grab your journal and pen and write not with great detail or worrying about grammar or anything like that. Just write, breathe as you write, stay embodied, but write about what the environment looked like, what you were wearing, what colors your clothes were. These are the colors of empowerment and colors that represent right now for you your unconscious mind speaking to you. And I suggest you start to wear those colors in your actual day-to-day -day activities. What object did you see in the treasure chest? What message did it have for you? What message did the great bird have for you? What colors and details did it have? And what object did it give you in your right hand? And how does that signify to both the object in the left and the object in the right with your life? And I'd love to know in the comments below if you feel like sharing. That would be so incredible. But now you can take these messages that have come from the subconscious mind, from your intuitive creativity, and use it now to help you take action. So knowing these messages are safe and encoded for you. The object in the left hand, the object in the right. What action will you now take today? as a result of these messages. Journal it down and get to work. You've got this. And I can't wait to read what you discovered in this visualization below. Thanks so much for being here.